the entrance and he bond, my heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for Audrey and Herb Simpson. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mission. I confess to all my God and to my brothers that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my misdeeds, therefore I ask the most severe of the curse, all the ancient sins, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. Let us pray. O oh God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession we may be a worthy temple of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the descendants of my people shall be renowned among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them as a race the Lord has blessed. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels, as the earth brings forth its plants and the garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, my heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my heart, my horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. The bows of the mighty are broken while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread while the hungry batten on soil. The barren wife bears seven sons while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld, he raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles and also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust, from the dung heap he lifts, lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make, make a glorious throne their heritage.
Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who kept the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Amen. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Each year Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to the festival custom. After they had completed it, its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day, and looking for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, "Why, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to him. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we celebrate the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We commemorate the Blessed Mother's love for each one of us, Jesus' mother and our mother. And love is not the same as just liking someone or an affection or a feeling. And and even yesterday, I reflected on the sacred heart of Jesus, the love of Jesus for us. And I noted that I had a seminary professor who said that love has been hijacked by our world, that that word love, how we hear it repeatedly thrown about on TV and the radio, how it often refers to an emotion or a feeling, but not to self-sacrifice, commitment, and self-giving. It doesn't often refer to a decision to love, to give of ourselves to one another. Love also means reaching out for the well-being of another person. It means wanting and doing what is good for the other. When we say that Mary loves us, we're not talking about a mere feeling or a good uh, emotion. We're talking about Mary's determination to do what is good for us. Her desire and power to lead us to what Jesus wants for us, to bring us to her Son. Mary loves us because Jesus loves us, and she wants to bring bring us to salvation. She loves us when we have sinned, and we need to be brought back to the loving arms of our Heavenly Father. I've experienced Mary's love in a handful of ways, but this power of her to bring us to the Heavenly Father, to bring us to Jesus, is what I've experienced the most profoundly. I was on a retreat, and I was in seminary, just my second or third year, and I was still discerning priesthood, wasn't sure if God was calling me to, to priesthood. And I went to prayer uh, at the advice of my spiritual director to um, allow, I shared with him, I was not really comfortable or able to pray with or to God the Father uh, so directly. And he said, go to Mary, bring it to Mary. And I brought it to prayer, I just imagined her just holding me as a child, bringing me to the feet of God the Father, praying and interceding for me. And this kind of opened my heart to really experience God's love, God the Father's love on that retreat and then continuing. So she is a powerful intercessor for each one of us. She knows what we need and she brings that to God the Father. She brings brings it to Jesus, her son. So like Mary, we keep the word of God in our hearts and continually ponder it. We keep the love of Mary and the love of Jesus in our hearts so that we can continue to savor them, we continue to grow deeper in our awareness of God's love for each one of us, 
and that we can continue to grow more and more like Christ each day. Gather together as daughters and sons of our loving Heavenly Father. We bring together the Father in prayers and petitions. For Pope Francis and for all who lead our church, may the Good Shepherd strengthen them in wisdom and zeal for the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the leaders of all nations, May the, the Holy Spirit fill them with a spirit of humility and service toward those whom they govern. Let us pray to the Lord. For children who are mistreated or neglected, may Christ shield them from harm and lead them to safety and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed services, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. And now, let us add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving and faithful God, we entrust these prayers to you through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. We ask you to incline your merciful ear to our prayers and listen in kindness to the supplication of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of all creation. With your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of your hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, with your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. <laughs> Pray, brothers and sisters. That my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just in our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo our thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, 
you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim, Holy Lord, Holy Lord. similar way when supper was heaven. He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you for this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Gregor our Bishop, Shereen is assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in the rain. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion antiphon. Mary treasured all these words, reflecting on them in her heart.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase in our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The good announcement that this Wednesday coming, um, Will, our seminary, will give a presentation on being childlike like Jesus. Um, so that's a good chance to come to support them and to be enriched uh, spiritually. And that will be in St. Joseph Hall at 6.30. There will be a potluck meal provided at 6 p.m. So details are in the bulletin, but you can call the office if you'd like to bring a dish to see what is already being brought. So come on, come on out for that Wednesday, Wednesday night faith formation. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Say Michael and God. Yes. May God be with you and be with you forever. And do thou the Prince of the Heavenly Host, the power of God, cast into hell and sin, and all the evil spirits, crowned out of the world. Thank you.